Hey guys, just finished watching Marvel's Age of Shield, uh, season five, episode five. Um, rewind. Uh, um, wow, I just finished. Finally got the chance to watch it with and stuff. And um, whoa, what an episode! This episode was so much fun. Um, I mean, it was really cool seeing what was going on with Fitz and seeing Hunter back. Um, although the way it ended kind of seems like is Hunter going to be even in this in this season, or is this a kind of a little setup to have Hunter back? for next season, you know, because um, it kind of feels interesting the way they're doing with all this stuff. I mean, last season, the last two, last season, they did it, and they did it very well. They did the different kind of three separate arcs and stuff um, for the season, but this one seems like such a big story. I don't see how they can do it into three, three separate arcs, and how is this going to, you know, end and then kind of just last a few of uh, episode and only be a five episode arc i don't see how that works or anything like that so i don't know i don't know if they're going for a full episode arc or if they're doing a three episode arc again uh three different arcs throughout the season um and then it's really gonna be fun to see how things go with all that and see how you know we get so many of hunter back what is hunter doing and stuff like that maybe we'll see a little bit of that um and how things went on with that maybe we'll see bobby back although i know adrian uh uh, which is just Adrian, the actress there, Adrian Perlucky, um, is actually busy on, um, or was busy on Orville type thing with uh, Seth MacFarlane. So uh, who knows if we'll ever get her back on here. Uh, but it really is fun having uh, Hunter back. It really was cool seeing all that, um, seeing that interaction with Fitz and seeing how he figured it out and how they had all kinds of stuff and what they've been up to um, and how where things are going along with all that. It's really going to be fun to see that. So it really was really cool. Um, and really, it was really cool, like, getting on the, all this stuff with Fitz. It's really going to be fun to see where things go after all this. So I have a few notes here I wanted to talk about. So the first part was really cool, seeing Fitz in prison, kind of, um, you know, just talking about, um, you know, trying to explain to the people that he doesn't know what's going on. He, he The way he saw it is they just kind of vanished before his eyes within a minute, you know, um, type thing. And that was really cool, seeing that, and then having that used it later on on these guys. Um, although they never really, they, they really, they blew Harvest Water type thing. And really tell us who they are type thing they, they, I guess they are Blue Over Squadron and they had um, the guy's freezing chamber and all that stuff um, it's, it's really going to be fun to see what all that is I mean Echo uh, Ichnok I- 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 um, is actually a character from the 40s from the 19 Marvel character who was created in the 1940s and stuff um, although I didn't really read much about it just googled it a bit, a bit just to see who he was type thing and um, didn't really show, show much. Didn't really read his bio, uh, so I don't know how close it is. Uh, but it is nice that they used at least the name from uh, someone who was from, who was like a scientist who was from the 1940s and stuff. That's really cool using that there. Um, and then those strange symbols talking around there. That's gonna be cool to find that out. Said they Kree symbols. I mean, uh, you know, Fitz has seen Kree stuff. He's dealt they've dealt with Kree's before, so he should recognize Kree symbols. So we don't know anything about these symbols. Um, which alien race they are is anyone gonna be able to read them you know could deke read them or something like that that's gonna be even fun to see all that um and then really the coolest part uh was finding a uh, robin H- hinton and uh, robin hinton uh it was really interesting i didn't really know who she was and it, it passed i was like okay she was someone i remember seeing that but i couldn't remember um uh, maybe it's because i'm watching it later at night type thing um you know, I couldn't really remember who that was. I remember Daisy giving someone, some daughter, uh, the Robin type thing, and doing talking about it and all that stuff. Um, I don't remember who it was. I was trying to think of someone, and then you know, someone at the end of a season type thing, and I was thinking, oh, is it Daisy's father? Who I think last time we left, he was mine was wiped, and he was working on a kettle somewhere, working at a dog grooming service or a veterinarian service type thing. So that looks going to be cool to see if it was tied into that, but it wasn't. And then I Googled it and Robin Hinton is the, tr- the daughter of Charles Hinton, who is, um, who was a character back in season three, who, when Daisy touched him, uh, she saw her, supposedly her death, which was actually the death of Lincoln Campbell, um, in the spaceship when the rocket went in space shuttle went up into the atmosphere and you just saw her necklace floating around well it wasn't just it wasn't her neck it was her necklace but is him it was <clears throat> Lincoln Campbell who was out there sacrificing himself for her and type thing and that was really cool seeing all that so it's really interesting you know bringing this all back you know it's sort of season three when we saw him saw the daughter and now we actually see the character again and that was really cool bringing that in and tying his daughter into all that so that was really fun doing all that and making it worthwhile for people who have you know, stuck around and all that stuff. So I literally love when they call back to things like that and they bring things back full circle. I think that was really cool. And I really like the way they did that here and stuff. And then here was really cool just finding out that the, the team was, you know, 70 years in the future and he needs to kind of, uh, 
he needs to kind of just lay there and sleep type thing. And that was really going to be interesting to see that. See, like, Captain um, Fitz. It's really going to be fun to see how things go in the next week's episode. Because I really want to see more of where Fitz go- goes with this. And he s- did say, you know, 70 years into the future, 75 years into the future. Um, was that, the, did he wake up the same day that uh, Sh- that the S.H.I.E.L.D. guys showed up? Or did he wake up where we are now in with the S.H.I.E.L.D. guys where we followed up to, uh, uh, up to, into, up to season, up, uh, episode four type thing? So that's going to be cool to figure out that. Um, or did he show up, you know, a few years before everyone so that he could get the lay of the land and figure out how to save them before they even show up? That could be really cool. So they set that off if he was pl- smart enough to plan all that. Um, and also to see who Ignox, uh, whatever his, um, plan is going to be and how that's going to go out and how things are going to go on and um last we left off in in episode four um i think it was it <clears throat> daisy was there and uh she was the one who first found him and he took off the mask and she said something and type thing and he was the one who decided to make the whole plan and make her fight to the death and all that stuff so it's really going to be fun to see how that goes because it seemed like in the last episode when we first got the reveal of fits um in episode four uh that um he knew what he was doing and he had a really big plan he knew the way the goes he knew the way of the land way more than anyone else so it seems like he's at least been there <clears throat> a couple of years maybe before uh before the rest of the shield before daisy simmons and all those guys type thing so it's really gonna be fun to see how that all plays out i don't like the idea of fitz kind of you know hiding the uh the briefcase in the in the, in the place there for himself so that he, everyone can have their own powers type thing and the gauntlets for daisy although she doesn't really seem to need them because she's been using them all she uses it all the time without her powers um but it's really going to be fun to see where that goes and how all the different things go and maybe now that we see all that um Hunter does know. Hunter's still in in, in 2017, I guess, um, w- waiting for him. Or I don't know where Hunter is. If Hunter survived, I guess Hunter's probably dead at this point because 70 years type thing. And you know he wouldn't be alive type thing. Uh, it's really gonna be fun to see how that goes. Maybe it is Hunter. Maybe the person on the radio that we got a few episodes ago when that um, Jarek, Jarek, what well, they heard on the radio, uh, and that you know when uh, was it May. <clears throat> may mac uh yo yo and and uh colson went out um on that ship type thing floating around they heard uh the voices on the radio so maybe that could be hunter type thing that could be really cool that could be some sort of older version of hunter type thing maybe even if it's a different actor whatever playing a you know seven year old seven year older version of hunter who's kind of been staying you know he knew to plan for this, so he was able to protect himself somehow on Earth type thing. That could be cool. Uh, different things like that, especially if he's hanging out with the daughter, with the girl, with um, Robin Hinton, who can predict the future with the with the, the books, uh, with the, her drawings and stuff. Maybe that could be cool to see somehow uh, bring him into the future or bring see an older version of him throughout the future and then see you know hunter back uh, when we get back to 2017 modern time type thing that's really going to be cool to see that and also how do they kind of with it being in the mcu type thing are they going to come back at the end of this whenever they come back um which would, could be at the end of the season could by, by the mid-season final although this is technically the mid-season final so um which is only <clears throat> which is good that we only have uh two weeks type thing that's really going to be cool that's really good i like that um, which is really interesting to see when they come back to, when they go back to, you know, when they go back to the same exact time when they come back, when they left, like December 2017, um, because when we get back, when we started back up, it's January 2018, so where are they going to come back, you know, are they going to come back to that thing, and why would they come back to January 20, 20, 20 uh, you know, 2018, I mean, maybe that's the only way they can come back, I'm um, sure so they're going to be fun to play with time travel and play with all that stuff. Um, and how do they do that? How do they go back? Where do they go back? Do they go? Do they get back? You know, are they still going to be in in, if, in the future during Infinity War type thing? And how is that going to make going to affect type thing? That's really going to be cool to see that. Because um, if I'm not mistaken, the 100th episode of the Shield uh, will be a tie-in to uh, Infinity War. Um, I think that's going to supposed to be it around that time. Uh, so it's really going to be fun to see where that goes. It's really going to be interesting to see how things all. <clears throat> play out and how things connect to infinity war because i really hope that there's a big infinity war tie-in uh i also really hope that the you know they're not in the future and kind of type of thing so it really could be fun to see things and see uh how things go and all that stuff that could really be interesting to see that maybe they get back and just after infinity war type thing or who knows it's really going to be fun to see how that left off and uh type things really you're going to be interested to see that maybe they miss it out maybe that's why they're not in any vendors infinity war um 
otherwise it's going to be interesting to see and we think to go with all this so it really was a fun episode i definitely can't wait to see more of fits and where he goes from here uh and how he interacts with the team i'm really hoping we'll be following more fits because it looks like from the trailers we're going to be following sky type of thing um or who knows maybe they're trying to keep fits as part of completely hidden that's what they just chose for this 10 second 40 second uh, trailer that they put on youtube type thing so um who knows? Maybe we'll have to see. But hopefully next week's next episode, which is in two weeks, uh, January 5th, uh, we get a lot of fits and stuff in there. So let me know what you think, guys, about the steps in the comments below. What do you think about it? And uh, how excited you are for our Hunter's return? And do you think he's going to be back once we get back to his timeline? Or what do you think is going to happen with all that? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? <laughs>